the last remaining hope of Vex. That is going to be Doppy on the other side. Doppy has been downing monsters, which I don't think really helps him <laughs> calm down. But, you know, to each their own. So we talked about how he did was he tuck screaming. His, did he tuck his headphones, though? Oh, did he, didn't, he didn't. Oh, no. Uh -oh. That could be the critical error. Uh -oh. He might have to do that the second game. He's not even using them at all. Uh -oh. He's 100% focused on this. Um, I'm Three, hoping that two, maybe his scrims one, against Crocky was was able to give him a little bit of experience against slower play. You know how uh, Crocky can play sometimes. He can be very slow, be very patient. He can also be very tilting at times. Doppy, so, though, not going to be patient at all as he got some big hits with that axe. Side light, down light, side light, down light. Picked up the lance for a side light into a neutral air. And you're seeing that damage so huge on this low defense ember. But French is back on stage, and he's starting to find that pacing that he wants. Oh, he's off stage, though. Doppy with the patience goes for that neutral air to cover that aerial hitbox. Wrenched in iframes, able to avoid all of it. I'm glad Doppy has been very careful on his side edge airs. guards today. The double side airs coming out. That is a huge kill move for Lance players into the down the air. X. Down sick thrown out. Wrench beautifully spacing that recovery side over the sick. edge, and he gets the side signature. Not quite able to kill yet. Oh, dodges through for that side air. Goes for the ground pound on top of Doppy. Wrenched with great positioning around Doppy's swings. Side light, down light into a wait to pick up that side air. The down air oh. connects. Doppy hasn't touched, yep. and Doppy goes down. First stock for Wrench after a big early lead for Doppy. It's that pace play of Wrenched, even when he seems to fall behind. He's able to get that damage back, and he's able to turn things around. That side air from the right side of the stage to the left is not going to be enough to kill side yet. Sig. Gravity cancel side signature is going to kill that lower defense ember, and that's something Wrenched is going to have to be very careful of if Dobby is able to consistently hit these lance strings, Another consistently tighter. hit these axe strings as well. That health bar is just going to melt oh. away for Wrenched. Interesting option for that falling nair from Doppy. Didn't quite work out for him, but he made the best of it with that immediate up throw with the Lance. That's how Lance players like to get back onto stage. If they're trying to recover, they're going to go for that up throw, and it worked out for him. Hope staying off stage, going for a dare. Wrenched, forcing Doppy out to the right side. Doppy's starting to play a little bit liberally on the edge. After he went under the stage, he didn't immediately try to get back to safety. He needs to be oh, careful, oh, though. The weapon toss, it hit the bottom of the platform. He got the and that's touch. just got what Wrench needs. But Wrench went with a big read. Doppy did get the touch. Ground pound. He's holding on for so long, but oh. it's not enough. Dodge just a little bit late. Wrench takes down the second stock, and this time he's looking a lot more healthy. And you saw those dodge iframes ending when you touched the wall. That was pretty much the reason that Doppy fell there. If those kept going, he probably would have been able to get past Wrench and back onto the platform. Side sig. Doppy knows he needs this stock off of Wrench. Knows that a big sig could be enough for him, but he's got to be careful about this offstage play. He burns a lot, but Wrench not going offstage. Knows that he can't do his normal edge guard with that soft platform there. And that damage is just coming out from Ooh, Wrench. Doppy now in orange. He's going to try and side get the double air. tap. Nope, he's going to go for the side air. Falling Ooh. there from Wrench. Ooh, weapon toss down. Jumps underneath to pick up that recovery. Doppy is able to even up the stocks, but Wrench still with a significant health lead. Side light side air. Into a Into reverse, reverse nair. nair. All right. Extra damage. Doppy showing Again. his lance prowess. Showing he's not out of this yet, getting another side air, almost completely evening up this last stock. He's been behind almost this entire game since the oh. beginning. Beautiful reverse snares from Doppy. Able to even up the damage, like you were saying. He's back to the axe, keeping the weapon control out of Wrench. Wrench has no weapons on the field to go to, and the second one spawns. Doppy's covering it with a side air. But even when Wrench doesn't have a weapon, it doesn't seem like he's super worried about that. The tunnel vision is not there, but the That'll side air from Doppy is going Player to kill. One. And it was for a while on that last stock that he had the axe. I was a little bit worried because his axe play has, has just not been up to caliber with the way his lance play has been so far. He was able to throw away that, that axe, get the lance, and then I felt much more comfortable uh, coming from the point of view of Doppy. I really want him to stick with that lance. He's, he's playing very, very well with it so far. Uh, he's limited his offstage time, which has kept him a lot safer, so Wrench isn't able uh, to kind of Three, just completely two, take one, and eat those, uh, those lance recoveries and force Doppy into 
into something strange on the edge. Gabi playing the neutral game very well today. Oh, it doesn't go for reverse nair this time, but it's still damage on top of wrench. He's going for more nairs. Playing like me when I'm goofing around <laughs> with Lancer, he just throw out a million nairs because the hitbox is so massive. And it's 18 damage every single time, 20 if you get the reverse nair. But decides to swap on over to the axe. Going for those side light down lights. And we're not seeing him immediately jump up for the nairs. Oh, down air. There's there's a traditional be death. axe yep. play. Coming out of Doppy, I take back my statement from earlier. There is the traditional bread and butter standard axe play 101. Oh, but Wrench does have him off stage. Immediately, Doppy forced to disarm himself. He has to disarm himself to get back up safely. The one time he went for that uh, that up throw and it hit the bottom of the platform, immediately led to death against Wrench. Back in center stage, Doppy wants this hard platform, wants this neutral stage. I don't blame him at this point. Like you see that he's very red right now. So by maintaining that that control of the center stage, that's the farthest that he could possibly have to go to hit that blast zone and lose that first stock. And up throws, but he's able to pick up to that side air. He's trying to extend the stock so long with this central stage play. Trying to bait with that up throw on the wrench and wrench does go in. Gets caught by the sideline, but no neutral air from Dossi. Oh. oh, the drop! The side of the platform again, saving a life. Doppy oh, with throw. those weapon throws, down covering air. so much territory, staying so incredibly safe there. And Wrench is starting to really slow his gameplay down. You're seeing a lot of jumps, a lot of fast falls before he's able to initiate. Ground pound. Great patience, though. From Wrench, is going to go for the down throw, forces Doppy up around it. And Wrench gets that ground pound, even up the stock. But he's got to play a lot slower, which is very difficult against Doppy's Lance because it has so much movement on it. The gravity cancel side stick not quite enough to kill. Recovery, not enough. Recovery, second one. That is something that you're a big fan of. And there's the Vex flag playing and Doppy looking confident. Especially when players love to float. I love that second tap of the recovery because they think they can just get away from the first one by jumping really high in the air. And then you just keep following them, throw that second hit out. Wrench starting to put out a little bit of damage now, but Doppy immediately answering, getting the down air. Wrench staying on that soft platform. Doppy saying, I'm not going to go over there. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm ahead. I'm not going to play your game. Come He's fight still me on the stepping. platform. Oh, the, the patience. The side of the side air. He was still stutter stepping. Wrench was like, I'm on this platform. We're going to go, right? Doppy's still stutter stepping. Wrench goes in, and Doppy immediately picked up the side light into the side air. Doppy just getting the better of Wrench now. Up throw into the unarmed recovery. The oh. classic Aiden Pierce. Falling there as ground pound connects. There's those iframes. Oh, oh, and Doppy Got a is, little bit of damage. These weapon tosses from Doppy are just super cheeky on the edge over here. Seven damage here and there. Again, Doppy. Oh, no, You're Doppy. Doing. No, please don't do that. You see a smile on Doppy's face right now. Please don't do the Lance Down signature. Not like this. Just That's win this out. game. Slide charge, side sig for Wrench to even up the stocks, but he's so deep in the red. He needs a gim. Doppy has no weapon. Wrench trying to get the pressure, trying to chase after Doppy. And this is the one spot that Wrench doesn't want to be in, a spot where he has to play his opponent's game. He doesn't have the health to work with to slow it down to the way that he wants. And Doppy taking full advantage, staying on stage, dancing around. You're seeing those big kill moves coming out of from Doppy. Side Sig will do it. Side Sig is going to take it, and that is a swift 2-0. Was that, was that a JV2? Yes, I don't think he took any damage on that final stock. I believe that was a JV2 going the way of Doppy. Really well played from Vex.